OK, so the main important thing, like the last problem that we went over, ladies and gentlemen, is you need to take the terms and the power terms that are being multiplied, and you need to rewrite them as your powers. So the first thing I'm going to write is log base 4 of x cubed plus log base 4 of z minus log base 4 of cubed. Now, there's no parentheses, ladies and gentlemen. So remember when we did the one with parentheses? Well, since there's no parentheses here, I'm just going to go from left to right. So the first thing I can do here, which I notice, is I am multiplying. So therefore, I can rewrite those as one single logarithm as the product of x cubed and z. So I'll rewrite this as log base 4 of x cubed times z minus log base 4 of 3. Now, by using the quotient property, you can see that I am subtracting the two logarithms. I can rewrite those as the, as the, diff or the quotient in one single logarithm. So x cubed z divided by 3. And that is my final answer. What the? Jazeel, I don't really need extra 